Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be diving into how to win hardpoint matches and how to win them very, very easily. Because after you see the end of this game, you'll see um, the strategy has worked for us and may work for you. Basically, the biggest thing that you need to absolutely destroy teams like this is the other team has to be filled with handicaps if the other team isn't filled with handicaps there's no way you're going to shut them out like in this gameplay if they're not if they're you have any skill whatsoever you will not shut them out I can guarantee you that but this team thankfully was absolutely just swarming with handicaps that had I literally don't think they had thumbs the men were half the time not even shooting back but and then Obvi that's obviously not gonna happen every time so the real most important thing is knowing the rotations and when to rotate so you can get to that next hill you can hold the time yet still get to the next hill and be there and get see like that get the fucking points get as much time as you possibly can before the other team gets there and here it gets sniped and that's kind of fucking gay but team wise I'm gonna go through each player on this team this is a group of my friends the dad clan a bunch of beasts look at that paka going 11 2 what a man i'm gonna go through each player and kind of just explain what they do for the team and like how this shit works for for us it may not work for you just keep in mind throughout this you might disagree with some shit that i say i don't give a fuck fuck you this is what works for us kimbo sliced he's a freaking god at the game my man's 4-0 right now his main goal throughout this entire game was to slay fucking kill whore get as many kill streaks as he could and fuck the other team up that was his that was his job he didn't go for a fucking time because we didn't need fucking people for time we had two people for time so i respect him he's a very valuable player to the team go for kills get fucking kids up making sure that they can't push the spawn or the hard point look at that guy right there got a sentry gun what a beast that helped us out a lot next we're gonna go over to who the fuck is this Oh, that kid's on the other team, so let me just wait till somebody on our team. We're gonna go over to the Tungan Terror. See this faggot? I'm pretty sure his job wasn't a slayer, but he's acting like a fucking slayer. And I respect him because he's doing a good job, even though he has kind of shitty kill streaks. Usually you want to run like, if you're not going for big kill streaks, probably guardians or sentry guns to help protect or something. Wraith, maybe. But we'll just say his job was to kill. Kill people. Don't be in the hard point, but more so, just don't let them get to the hard point. So we can sit in it. Next we got Run for 621. He's the assault rifle guy. He's more the guy that covers the flank. Doesn't let them sneak up on us. He can get kills. And he, I mean, he's a solid player. Not really a time player, which we don't need too many time players because we have two good, solid time players. But... Let's see what he got. Let's see what he does here. Oh, 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 little potato, little potato. Oh, 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 little potato. Oh, and shit on. But he's solid. He covers our flank well. Very useful asset to the team. Finally, we got. Wait, maybe not finally. No, not finally. Second to last, we got Little African. I mean, my man, Little African, he's kind of got some potato aim. You question whether or not he has full control over his body and whether or not his tongue is using the controller instead of his hands but he's good for time like look at him he's rocking a three three minutes and 12 seconds already that's solid that's a lot of time might not get the most kills in the game but i respect him for the time and you can see kimbo slice got a wraith up that helps a lot as you can see this strategy worked very 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 well finally we have my boy lustrous alpaca repping lustrous clan He's kind of a faggot because he doesn't make videos, but, you know, that's besides the point. <laughs> but he's rocking the Gorgon. He's sitting back in our spawn and just shitting on kids with this fucking gun, dude. Like, look at this. He's just... Oh, he got fucked there. But he's just two-shotting kids from, like, across the map. Like, that is very, very helpful for us because that lets us push up while he picks kids off. And grabs that time. So he is very useful it's always nice to have a guy that can sit back and make sure that they don't spawn behind you because if he sits back in the spawn then they can't spawn behind you and fuck you up from behind and that's a, always a pain in the ass 
So this is very this person is very very valuable especially because they're getting a lot of kills like this. This strategy worked very 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 well for us. All of our players did great right where they were supposed to be doing what they were supposed to do. You need a good team to be able to pull this shit off. This is not easy. 250 to 0. You got to hold that shit the whole time. They cannot step foot in it without you in it. That takes a lot of I mean that's a lot of that's not easy. That's what I'm trying to say. So you need a good team, you need no rotations. Everybody needs to know their role and do their role. And you just need some solid players that fucking will appreciate what they're doing and fucking try hard. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and as always, so long.